Hello everyone and welcome back to Sleepy Hollow. Welcome back to Manor Lords on the higher difficulty or the highest difficulty there is right now. Of course, don't forget, this is a demo version and early access and pre-alpha, pre-early access version and things are changing a lot and it also doesn't mean that this is really a high difficulty. It's just what the demo allowed me to do. We are having a walk around in our young city. I could do this for hours, honestly I, I did it. And we are just walking around here and drawing the scenery as we are also coming close now to the end of summer. This is going to mark another very important step for our village. We are also moving past here right now, close to the, or actually to the new neighborhood where lots of new houses will pop up soon. All right, so there's already the timber getting constructed over there. Unfortunately, these people over there will lose a nice view, but it was bound to happen anyway. Their real estate value at least is going up. And while we walk around enjoying the view, of course we should not be idle. Planning-wise, we have planning to do. Um, Food-wise, we are at 40 meat and 50 berries. With the berries, that's actually pretty good, right? But it is September. That means the harvest of berries will soon be over. Uh, we still have 74 berries in stock. So let's go ahead and assign a second person. We can do this. And both of them will now harvest the rest of the berries that we have here during autumn. So I think it is then berries start disappearing in autumn at starting at September. But it's going to be extreme then in November when all the berries vanish and in December everything is gone, right? So it now starts to deteriorate already. Um, so we should just harvest as much as possible while we'll still have time for that. Of course, also enjoying some warm weather there still. And that you have in September. They're doing this, perfect. Um, the hunter can stay at one for now, right? Hunting we can do during winter as well. And we have plenty of game there, uh, plenty of stuff that we can really uh, slaughter for meat. The forager hut, so that's that. Uh, timber wise, uh, we have two people yet and yeah, that's fine too. The storehouse remains empty as we don't really need a person there in the beginning. The granary is more important so that we can store more stuff in it. That also is then a bit more durable, lasts a bit longer and hopefully lasts us through the first winter. While we watch these new buildings coming up, another thing is we are now f at 48% approval again. So it's not as bad as it was before. People will not um, rebel against me and they will not flee. Um, they're still in the past year negative two for the homelessness. So there's still a bit of a penalty here, I think, because of the past. But that's it then, right? 48% of course, and we can continue to increase this then as we continue. Right now, I want to primarily increase my population, even though we should be careful about that, of course, because we're at the beginning of winter soon, and of course all these people need some food in their bellies. We're at 100 though, so it should be fine. Fuel-wise, I'm not entirely sure, but fuel we can always also produce during uh, during winter. There it is, the, the woodcutter. So Lawrence is doing a good job there, getting everything done. And yeah, the second house is now under construction, while the other ones are getting their resources. There's more timber coming over. Just quite a lot of people join in. Don't they have anything else to do? And as we can also see on the forest, yep, autumn is upon us. There's a beautiful red forest over there. It is October, we should really hurry up with that construction here before winter. Uh, it's getting wet and cold out there and foggy. And probably a headless horseman you can see riding around here somewhere now. As we're finishing now, hopefully then soon, the last one. We do have some more families in again. And that means I can speed up some chopping down. I mean, we already have two people in there. Is it perhaps that we do need to reassign the work area? Might be, might be. So in here between the game, we can definitely chop down some more forests still. I can move this one, right? Yes, I can relocate the logging camp, thank the gods, because I would like to move it then into this area at some point. Uh, hunting is fine. Um, and also my woodcutter. 41, let's assign a second person to this one now as I think we're going to need it. And my berries, 51, still working. Let's assign a third person to that to also speed it up for October and November now to get the maximum, in, even though I think we're good already. It's also time to assign someone to the storehouse because, for example, the woodcutter lodge is now full. That means it's no longer producing anything until we do have some resources in. Actually, 
some women help out there as well, getting things to the storehouse. I think they might then even be of the same family, right? So this is Toman now, getting his resources over, and Kungut is helping with that, but she's unassigned. But she's just helping out because she's got the time for it. We got some pelts, some firewood, and some timber now at the local storehouse. And since we have some timber again, we can also happily continue growing our village. I think this plot here is perfect for it. To at least get another house with a a garden out there and then we can continue with the road in here now we are probably going to destroy this little forest here in the center but what can you do about it it's just in the way of our village there really we also still have more room here and winter is coming october is coming to an end now soon It is November and the berries are now really going down to 7, so it's going to be depleted then come, uh, soon now. Um, we do have in the granary around 84 berries now sitting around, so 137 food should be fine then, right? And what we can do here once the berries are really going to zero now, it's a 6, we can then also reassign those people and there it is at zero no more berries for now and with that we have a bit of workforce again that we can now use on other buildings for example since we have 10 timber on construction and yeah construction we have a lot to do look at that we could squeeze in five homes into this area here so where we have the main road right and this one goes then right to uh, from the main road connected more or less with my other village there and yeah i think i would like to do this uh some trees will unfortunately have to pass but of course these houses also have trees in their gardens that are growing again so we should be fine that this whole village is looking more also green at some point right even though at the moment nothing really looks green as you can see it's late november now and you can really see this in the landscape i love it uh as everything is getting muddy and brown and winter is coming. Might also be time again to just have a quick look around. As is tradition with every season. And just see what my people are up to. Perhaps also motivating them a bit. Using my boots. And then we also get to the new district that is popping up here now as well and as the first year is coming to an end it's december snow is falling i hope everyone is prepared we do have 109 firewood 121 food berries is still plenty of even though i can see that my meat is now going down so i'm going to assign a second person of course now to the hunting camp um since we also have these families, I should also work on a second hunting camp, right? Let's just have a look. We're using this area there right now, I hope. Right, so this should be my, my, my hunting area for hunting camp number one. And I'm going to build a second hunting camp now as well. That is then working uh, over there for these guys there, for these deer. And we can probably just have it somewhere over there then. A bit further outside, I would like to have it. Where we have then the construction of the next one. This fortunately does not cost me any timber, right? And it is finished already. We have six unassigned families right now. Let's assign someone to this and also assign it to this forest there. Specifically, so this these hunting grounds there. As we creep deeper and deeper into winter. The snow is starting to appear now, not only falling, but also everything is being covered. Beautiful white, beautiful frost, deadly, but beautiful. And also the last leaves are falling down. And in all honesty, this is probably just one of the most beautiful uh, seasons in this game. Let's have a look as the last house is being finished right over here. And more people can move in. Now look at that. It's also just really cool how the terrain is going uh, into 
the calculations of the weather. So we up here on the hill, we can have a nice view in the distance, right? But look at that down there, it's getting really foggy and you can't see anything anymore. Isn't that amazing? I think this is the first game ever that I see that is doing this, calculating the elevation into the weather system. So you have the foggy valleys and of course the more clearer hills up there. Really, really beautiful. And also the last house is being wrapped up right now. There you go, and more people can move in. Um, also what we can see, the hunters continue their work even during winter. Very good to see. And this is going to lead to a steady influx of food. Right now, 27 meat. So this is actually primary, primarily being consumed right now. Berries, we still have 88. Now, in preparation for my next uh, production, which is, of course, wheat and flax, or, well, actually not flax, I think we don't need that for this playthrough, but we definitely will need some farming, and I do have a problem. <laughs> um, I think that's because of the higher difficulty. We barely have any fertility on this map, so for barley, there is a, good, a bit of a fertility here, right? So this is yellow, um, also a bit of here, and there is a good fertility in this. However, this is, I'm totally determined to use this as my manor space. So I'm not going to add the barley f uh, fields over there, but rather here. And for Emmer, we only really have this area available there to us, which is green. So that's a good thing, right? So this whole area we can use for, for the Emmer then as well. Um, but that's it, right? So a bit further over there, perhaps. Perhaps we can have, hmm, we can mix it up with the flax. Having a farming area here would be possible as well. Difficult decision, because there's really not that much fertility. And I also just realized for the farm we do need tool, but on the starting position with no resources, of course we don't even have a tool. So last time we had a tool available, this time we don't. So I will need to provide this one as well. We're low on supplies for food and fuel, I don't see that really. We have plenty of that, at least in my opinion. So we do need to start on the iron production before we can start on the farming. Alright, interesting twitch, twist. No problem though, hopefully. Then we just go for the iron one. It's still December though. But we have the workforce and we do have the timber. So let's go ahead. Have this main road here continue. Right. And over here. So this is where we have our iron deposit. The only iron deposit on this, on this territory that we have available. And here we can start ahead and go with the first mining pit. That we can have right on top of it. Let's get to work. Now another thing, since we're using this forest here quite heavily and it's probably going to stay like that, so we have the logging camp for for this area, right? We have the woodcutter also for yeah for this area for now, right? What we still need here, uh, if we don't want to chop down everything, is a forester hut. So since we do have the workforce for that, I think it's a good opportunity to do this now. Forester plants new trees. It's a very small building, so we can just easily squeeze it in here somewhere. Um, yeah, here in this corner there. There you go. And you're building also another person that will need to work on that. Mining pit is already finished. That was quick. I think there was only really one timber that was needed and that's it. And since we have nine people, let's assign two people to that and start cutting down, chopping down, yeah, iron ore. And of course, they're already on their way. It might be freezingly cold. The earth is probably pretty hard. And yet they're still doing their, their duty. And there we have it. The first iron ore in store. And there we also have it. The forester hut coming along. Fantastic. This is looking cute. This building here with that roof. We're all the way down there to the ground. Look how many people are able to help now with seven unassigned families. There it is. We can assign Let's one person to this one here. And we can also assign them the work area. And of course we're going to try and make this one as big as possible. To say please reforest this whole area here. With trees. Because we are chopping them down obviously. I'm also moving my woodcutter up there a bit so we have this area available. I will also need to assign a second person to the storehouse. 
they're collecting the resources from my production buildings and since the mining pit is a bit further away now it's going to take a while for the iron ore to always get up there to the storehouse i mean it's doable of course and it's since it's the only deposit that we have on this map it's the only way to go for still going to take a bit of time I'm just really glad I did not build my village in a valley like here, because this is how it's looking all winter. Total fog, total darkness, really. I mean, you can build down here, right? This is territory. You can totally build down here. It's just going to be very difficult in, in, in winter. I'd rather stay up here. And there is already the transportation from my storehouse with a cart. Getting some six iron ore. How much can you actually carry? Yeah, all six of that. Very good. Getting it to the, the local storehouse up there. And there's more people than just those two helping out right now. I think everybody that is unassigned is just helping out if he's got the time. I mean, we will not need that much iron ore. Speaking about the iron ore, and since it's still winter and we have timber and we don't need to focus more manpower on, for example, berry bushes yet, um, we can go ahead with the next production, that is the bloomery. This one construct or this one converts iron ore into iron slabs that we're going to need then for our smithy. And this is why I wanted to have this location here available because I definitely don't want to have the bloomery too close to the village there somewhere, right? So I'm going to squeeze it in here, and right across it we do have then the smithy working, and also. Another cool thing is they're both right next to the storehouse. So it makes it e extremely easy or it just reduces the, the transportation times a lot. And let's have this one right behind it. Yeah, and village life is still active in winter as well. As we can see, lots of things are being done. Dead animals are being carried around, for example. Construction continues. I mean, we have so many people right now. That this should be happening rather quickly. The Bloomery. However, we're not having that many unsigned families anymore. So, with those two buildings here, we're probably going to need more families than once more. There you go. Bloomery finished. Now they can work on the smithy. On the blacksmith. Perfect. Both of them are finished. And with that we have our iron industry. Let's assign a person to the bloomery. And let's assign a person to the blacksmith. And this one will now produce us tools. And tools we're going to need for quite a few things. For our house expansions. We're also going to need it for the farms. And yeah, basically tools are extremely vital for mid-game. And with that we have laid out a good foundation. Meanwhile we can go ahead with the next expansion. So the burgage plots. Let's have the next ones then here in this, in this area there. Just see that we do this. I mean... That would be interesting. Alright, the game wants me to actually build such a huge garden here for one of them. That's just crazy. I'm not doing that. This would be interesting. And that would require 14 timber, but it would be possible, even though I don't know about this. <laughs> Let's just not do this. Let's have it here for now. And this should still add, yep, add plots to it. And we have this area then available as well to us. Right, and here... This road merges then once more with the main road. And as you can see also, those guys here have now some iron ore in it. And they can finally start working on ingots. On this totally frozen, it looks like frozen furnaces to me. In the sun at least, but I think it's just the color white that is being used here. And I think we already have a finished product getting over here to the smithy. And also a one tool is in already. This guy here has also started working. And just because we're at the end of January now almost, let's just have a quick stroll once more, enjoying the scenery. 
boots there in the distance, of course. Yeah, and my hiking boots will just get me anywhere really where I want me to go. I should definitely slow it down a bit there on the iron ore. So let's only have one person there because we already have 31 iron ore. We got three iron slabs and also the second tool is now coming in perfect from the smithy right over there. Now what I don't know is do we consume firewood for the smithy? It would make sense, right? I think we do. Doesn't say that really. Uses iron slabs and fuel to craft tools. All right, Ans uh, question answered. So firewood is being, of course, consumed with the smithy. We should be careful with that. The bloomery is not doing that. It should, however, realistically speaking, should do the same thing. It's not, but it's fine, of course. I don't mind this one bit. We got three people working in the woodcutter lodge and we're at 70 fuel. So that is not totally ideal, right? I think a second woodcutter lodge will be needed soon. I mean, we are also getting close now to February. And winter is where firewood is used the most. Construction of my new district has also started. And the first houses are coming along as well. Also, once again, I just want to point out all these details in this game. As the road is getting broader when there's houses next to it. What a lovely detail overall. It's also time to move the logging camp just a bit away from the center. Why? Because, yeah, well, you're going to see this not now, but later on. Let's just move it over there for now, though. Right, it's going to take a bit of time there, but once it's over there, it should be fine. It still has access to this whole forest area there. Um, the only thing I need to adjust, though, is the forester hut that is going to reforest this area in the future. And probably also my, my woodcutter lodge that we have is also going to chop down trees here. It's going to get quite busy in this area. I hope this works actually. I haven't tried it yet because we got the hunter now here. Woodcutters and lumberjacks working on the same hill. Probably will work. Once again, a nice view as the last buildings are being constructed here. Winter is coming to an end and we have a lot of work ahead of us. I hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned.